Good morning and uh, welcome to English. Uh, I have the pleasure to talk to a fellow Dane uh, this uh, morning here. His name is uh, Peter Vogt and uh, he is the owner and CEO of LabelHop and we are going to understand a little bit more about what LabelHop is all about. So welcome Peter. Why don't you start introducing yourself? Yeah. My name is uh, Peter. Um, I have been working in uh, the label industry for, well, I would say uh, plus 20 years. Um, and three years ago, I started uh, LabelHop, which is um, LabelHop is an uh, online platform for uh, digital label manufacturers. Fantastic. We're going to talk about the platform a little bit more in details in a, in a moment, but. Um, when you say that you have uh, worked in the in the label industry for for uh, this many years, you, you look you you look so young. So I was actually thinking you were lying to me, but that's okay. Uh, <laughs> and it's not just because of the webcams I take, but I mean you you are in good shape. So, uh, Peter, um, the label industry. That in your view, uh, I take that you come from a from a, a company printing labels, or, or or what role did you have before? Yes. Uh, I was an uh, IT manager um, my whole life, actually, uh, in the working life. Um, and uh, my main focus was uh, automation uh, of digital files. So all the way from the customer and all the way to the digital press. Mm -hmm. uh, so maybe not the normal uh, IT manager, but more the business uh, automation guy, you could mm -hmm. say. When you when you look at the label industry uh, from your experience, uh, especially with the focus from from the IT perspective, is the label industry a very uh, uh, adaptive industry when it comes to new technology, or how do you see that? I see that um, all the manufacturers are, are very very good at producing labels. They are very good at using uh, the newest technology in uh, in digital uh, printing. Uh, I, I always see very, very good quality of labels. Uh, the process of uh, ordering uh, labels and automating all the way from the customer, we still see there, there is some, uh, some, some lacking here. Um, and um, there is ERP systems, there is uh, automation of graphic work uh, flow, and then there is the customer portal part. And this is an area where we definitely can be better. And that is something we are trying to help with. I, I could imagine that was one of the reasons why you mentioned this. And you will have your chance to talk about Label Hub in a second. I just need to know and understand a little bit more. The reason why I'm asking is because in some of the segments in the industry, when I talk to people, uh, yeah, I think especially in, in the folding cards and corrugated business, a lot of people say, oh, this is a most conservative industry at all and I sometimes I talk to label people and they say we are the most conservative in the world I'm, I'm just trying to understand because when you as a, as a I, I take that you still see yourself a little bit as a startup but when you go to market with a, an approach that we're going to talk about but when you go to market is it is it in your mind uh, easy to explain and and deliver that value proposition to the decision makers in the in the printing companies in order to become partners with you? I think actually it's still hard to explain. Um, it is actually also a bit complicated. Um, and then uh, understanding how much benefit you can actually get out of uh, these processes. So, so um, but I think still everyone understands we need to do something, we need to be better, but, but how do we convert, convert it to the real life, you can say. I, I read an article, I think it was in Scandinavia, it was up uh, plus 9% uh, in selling in, in, in label industry. So um, you're right, it's, uh, it's, it's going really fast and we've definitely seen some of the, the Scandinavian customs we have that uh, they have really worked hard um, uh, of, of getting labels out to their customers in the pandemic. Yeah. Perfect. Three years ago, you decided to create a company, Label Hub. Yeah. What problem did you see that you wanted to solve? I've been working on similar projects, like you can say Label Hub, uh, internally in in, uh, in a company here in Denmark. Uh, and we saw that uh, this was something that uh, the brand owners really liked, and it had a very good effect uh, internally uh, in the company. 
um, and I thought, why don't we make a system that everyone could actually use without having internal uh, IT people? Uh, because you need actually a lot of people to, to get this up and running. You need some from, uh, from ERP, you need some with graphic skills, you need some, uh, uh, some very advanced uh, graphic software, and you have to put it all together. So we tried to make a package that uh, that could serve uh, customers faster and we could then maybe get people uh, faster online. But but so so uh, you didn't say that specifically but the problem that you wanted to solve is that uh, referring to what you said a little bit earlier is that the uh, basically the ordering process of the raw materials how to get it I mean what is it specifically that that uh, the problem you were you you identified yeah, specifically what we are seeing, that is the increasing amount of jobs on a digital machine uh, needs to be handled uh, much better uh, from the customer and all the way to the machine. So in the old days, we had uh, one flexo order with 100,000 labels. Now it's uh, 10 different orders with 10,000 in each. Uh, but the handling cost is the same so we need to lower that handling cost from for each job and and one of the things we can do is definitely automate the graphic uh, part of it and try to uh, to automate uh, the data coming in how many do they want to have and so on so so this is where we really want to make it easier to to buy labels three years ago you started doing this and uh I take there has been some development time before you had a product you could bring to market. So how how was that? Uh, how was your story in that perspective? How was the process from from getting started? Yeah, we had a lot of experience, but we started with a blank whiteboard. We have built everything from the ground up. Um, of course, we we knew what we wanted to build. Um, the first one I went out to was to show them a beautiful PowerPoint presentation of what we were going to build. Is this a got? Uh, is this something you think you could use? And it was. Um, and uh, we started building, uh, and we started with a customer very early on. Um, and then we went. Is that two years ago? We we already went to the to to Label Expo, and showed our system what we had developed at that time. Um, and then we got more and more customers on, uh, and we told them to begin with, we are a startup company. We make uh, rock solid software, but full course, disclaimer, basically. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but but it can of course uh, uh, do more things later on. And then we have actually built it together with our customers. We we um, uh, the, the the programmers here at the company is is used to have really. It's very important that we have a very big high uptime uh, for our software because we know when you use our software, it needs to work. Mm. Um, so, uh, a customer, um, they sign up for Label Hub. Is it is it a cloud-based service or is it a, what does it require? Yeah, it's a, it's a SaaS solution, so software as a service. Uh, you can only uh, have it in the cloud. It is a, it is a monthly subscription uh, based, uh, and then you can build in our packages. Um, uh, when you grow, uh, they can grow inside of our software as well. Uh, and we have, uh, you can say, in that sense, no limits. Uh, yeah. You said uh, you said before when we spoke about uh, your past, uh, you said that often uh, uh, printing companies uh, or converters or label printers, they had to like have an IT department because uh, all the process need to be integrated in the ERP system, needed to be integrated in the workflow system, all those things. Is that something that you also do with Label Hub from the beginning with APIs or different services integrated into the software that the, the, the people buying your software already uses? Yeah, they, they will typically have a ERP system um, and then they still need to integrate to Label Hub uh, in the cloud via API. And what we do here is we do never uh, do the integration at the ERP system. But we talk directly to their uh, either internal IT or external uh, helpers. It happens that I've been uh, developing in, for example, uh, Navision for 15 years as well. So we can guide people uh, pretty well here in the beginning. And, and we have uh, until now had no trouble uh, integrating with, uh, with different ERP systems. Mm. 
Now a customer have uh, subscribed to your service, they have integrated to their ERP system. So what has changed now from a company perspective? Yeah, um, it, the first customers we uh, we got in, uh, they actually used our software internally. So meaning that they they were the ones actually putting uh, graphic files into the system, uh, and then they felt okay, this is fully automated. We pre-flight the file, and when it's ready, uh, which you know in thirty seconds, uh, then it's already stepped and repeated on the digital press. It was only when uh, there is something wrong with the file, then they need a human to, to change this. And then they either do that in their internal uh, prepress or an external prepress uh, department. But then they found out the customers are getting better and better at, at, at doing these labels. So they can also give uh, the, the portal to the external customer. So they drag and drop the file in. Mm -hmm. So this is a process everyone is using, but they normally start internally. As soon as they feel safe and everything is working for them, they open up for their external uh, partners. So they go directly in the system. So um, would it be wrong to say that it's kind of a web to print solution for label, but instead of having a public storefront, you have more like a backbone for, for file deliveries and repositories and things like that? You can say it's, um, it's uh, only for B2B customers and it's only when you have a good relationship with your customer. And let's say they have a, a hundred different designs, then they get a password, they can open up and you can say they, I sometimes say it's home banking uh, for labels. So they open up their own uh, account and then they can see all their labels and reordering is very, very easy changing graphic design on, on an existing uh, item is very easy. New labels, they actually still do uh, the old way. Um, and this is actually because the label manufacturer still wants to be in control here, which until now I actually think is a good idea. Mm. Um, so basically this is, this is uh, after the first production, basically you upload your your uh, material, so it's it's a it's a platform that makes it extremely easy for reordering and and changing graphics of existing uh, of existing uh, work. Is that how it is? Exactly. Yes. Okay. Um, um, do you have any idea how customers think about this? I mean, not your customers, but the, your customers' customers. I mean, does it uh, also make their life easier? Yes, I actually think this is one of uh, the reason why we have seen that Label Hub is a success. We actually didn't start to go to the manufacturer and ask what they want. We actually went out to the end customer and asked what they want. Um, I had some very good uh, customers uh, here in Denmark. I went directly out to them, so we are out with the brand owners, and showed them our uh, PowerPoint presentation. I asked them, what would make your life easier? And when they told us that, that was uh, the same things we thought. Because I actually knew everything <laughs> that was the problem inside of a manufacturer. Uh, because I've been there for 20 years and I have uh, dealt with all the problems. Mm -hmm. um, so here I went out to the, the, the brand owner and asked them. Mm -hmm. And we got some very, very good ideas. We still get good ideas from them. And uh, they are not our customers. But they, if they are happy, our, man, our customers are happy. Mm -hmm. And that is actually what we are, we are aiming to do. And I take, um, again, uh, uh, I don't know as much of the label industry as you do, but I have visited some, some uh, companies and I think that um, uh, the reordering process is a quite big percentage of a normal label printer's uh, business, right? So to have that more or less automated or more or less uh, self-serve solution uh, can save a lot of time with, a, with, a, with any printer, right? That is actually why we are still so focused on reordering. And, and that is why this B2B customers, I would say 80% is reordering or reordering with a graphic change. Um, and the new ones, there's no problem calling uh, like we did in the old days, uh, call and, and you still have uh, the interaction with your, your manufacturers. They can help choose the right material and so on. Um, this still uh, makes everyone feel safe. Uh, but the reordering is 80% of, uh, of the orders. So they just run much smoother through the system. Mm. And yeah. uh, the reason why it's integrated to the ERP system, of course, because uh, whenever a reorder takes place uh, by the customer, 
it initializes the the order and uh, and the workflow and all the things that the ERP system also automated, right? So that basic basically means that there's no hands-on before it it could actually end directly on the press, right? Exactly. We we still uh, all uh, labels are uh, made in the ERP system. The data is just sending automatically back to 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 label hub and label hub will connect the label and the pdf together and make that smooth when it goes back to 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 the production mm -hmm. so so this is uh, we never ever have data uh, typed in more than once and that is very keen here fantastic uh, yeah. peter and uh, three years old that's still a very young uh, company right um yeah. So how is business and where do you see the, also the, the future, maybe in a three, five years perspective from, from your perspective? I think we, uh, we have been starting out slow in the sense of we have been very keen on having a very stable system. Uh, because I come from the internal uh, IT, so I know what, stable, uh, what it means to be very stable that everything is working. Um, and therefore, we've been using a lot of time on that. Right now, uh, we are uh, very good here in Scandinavia, um, and uh, and we just uh, hired a new sales guy three months ago, and and now we are uh, starting with marketing. We are starting with the with the whole world, you can say, uh, and the reason is now we are hundred percent safe on our system, and that was most important for me before we went out because I think um, that will help us in the long run. Makes sense, and. Uh... And uh, from a competitive perspective, do you have like uh, any competitors that you have to wipe away first, or is it uh, are you? Uh, is this a, a, almost like a new market? I think actually there is a hole in the market which we are using, uh, and uh, I think there is the ones that fully integrate themselves uh, with with very very advanced um, uh, graphic design systems, um, and uh, and they will still do that. And then there are the ones that has nothing um, and they can much easier come into the market with, for example, Label Hub. What we have seen, uh, and we didn't know that, actually the bigger companies, they are actually calling us more than we thought. And the reason is that 80% of their labels, they are very easy to, to run through our system. And therefore it's, it's nearly with IT. It's never plug and play, but it's nearly plug and play, and you can you can actually get up and running uh, very very easily. And then they think, okay, then we can just take the bigger systems later on. But we don't see them do that because we can actually handle a lot. So so I think um, there's room for everyone, um, and and uh, we don't see directly competitors. We just see a smart market for us. Fantastic uh, to hear your story and uh, fantastic to get a little insight about LabelHub. As I said to you, I saw your name on, on LinkedIn uh, uh, yeah. and I only noticed it because we did a film from one of your customers. And uh, uh, Peter, I would really like to thank you very much for your time here on Inkish and of course wish you all the best in the future. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks.